Good morning, dear children. Today we will start our fifth part of our chapter, land forms. In this part of our video, we are going to discuss about plateaus. What are plateaus? Plateaus are table land. We usually studied about uh, plateaus as table lands. They are a raised area uh, which is raised than the uh, nearby places and the top portion is flat. So that is the main difference between a plateau and a mountain. In a mountain we can see it is like a heap and it is like a conical shape. But in the case of uh, plateaus its top portion will be flat. So there are different types of plateaus are there. And in this part of our video we are going to discuss about what are the different types of plateaus and then what are the uses of plateaus and what are the merits of plateaus etc. So here we start with the different types of plateaus. Now let's see the different types. The first one is tectonic plateau. The tectonic plateaus are mainly formed due to the actions which happens inside the earth crust. The second one is intermontane plateau. Intermontane plateaus are plateaus which is covered all sides by mountain ranges. Like this uh, type of uh, plateaus can be seen in the mountain ranges, nearby mountain ranges. Now the next one is volcanic plateau. Like the name indicates it happens uh, or it, it is formed due to the volcanic eruption. Then the dissected plateaus. Dissected plateaus are formed in those areas where there is uneven land mass is there or the ter terrain is rough. The next type of uh, plateau is continental plateau and this continental plateau means an area or a huge area is uh, or a huge land mass is coming under plateau. The next one is fault block plateau. Fault block plateaus are formed uh, due to some disturbances happen inside the earth. Sometimes like how the block mountains are formed like that. Some part of the earth due to some internal disturbance they will uh, collide or they, or they they are uplifted or they are um, they move uh, down. The, that means from the plain area they move down or they are raised one. So such type of fault block plateaus can be seen in many places. Then the Piedmont plateau. Piedmont plateaus means plateaus where one side mountain will be there. The other side may be a plain or a water body. So such type of uh, plains, uh, sorry, such type of plateaus uh, are also common. That means in one side we can see water body or a plain and the other side we can see a mountain range. So these are the main different types of plateaus. And just telling its outline because in the second part of our video with the pictures I am giving ex uh, explanation about each and everything. So here you can uh, just see what it is. And now in the next part of our video we will see that what is uh, what are what are the different types of plateaus with their with their pictures and their features etc in detail? So here we will just go with the um, with the uh, with the just an introduction. Now what are the uses of these plateaus? Plateaus are places where we can rear cattle and uh, sheep and cattle are reared in plateaus. Plateaus are places where we get plenty of uh, minerals. And uh, in some places in Deccan Plateau region where water is available and where the land is fertile people used to do agriculture also. Usually we hear that plateaus are not good for agriculture but where the water is available and where the climate is favorable people used to do agriculture. Then we will uh, see the next part that is what are the uses and what are the uh, main features of our um, uh, plateaus that is characteristics. The plateaus are rugged. That means they they are not even. Uh, when we usually think about a plateau and when we see the pictures, we can see a flat area. That doesn't mean that everywhere it is flat, flat like a tabletop. May uneven it is uneven. And uh, commonly when we uh, think about a large area, it is said that the sides should be should be um, uh, high and the top portion will be flat. We usually say that uh, uh, that Africa it's a uh, place where it's uh, usually we call it as a country of plateaus. That means it's a, in one side it is plateau and or its a side is very um, hilly and the top portion it is flat. So like that we cannot say that the top portion of a plateau will be always a flat or a, like a table land. It is uneven also. So it's a rugged terrain and the next one is it's a, a land which is 
uh, raised from the remaining land that means the remaining portion it will be flat and this portion will be a raised one and it is obviously rich in minerals we usually hear that plateaus are rich in minerals and plenty of resources are there from where which we get from plateaus so this is all about plateaus these are the different types of plateaus seven they are seven in number in the seven plateaus uh, some plateaus some type are very common and some are uh, very less but still these are the seven different types of plateaus which we can see throughout the world and what are the uses of plateaus and what are its characteristics we have discussed about now we will see the next part of the video where each and every point is given in detail and uh, if you feel that this now of the syllabus some have told me that uh, uh, so it's more we are not taking the um, that online classes are only available offline classes are not there so for uh, solving your each and every doubt and giving the classes in detail so that you understand each and every topic properly so just we will we'll move to the next part of our video plateaus what is a plateau a plateau is a flat top table land it is a flat terrain that is raised significantly above the surrounding area open with one or more sides with steep slopes so the top portion is always flat and it's an area which is raised from the remaining land mass means uh, from a plain or from a low land it is a raised area and the top portion is flat plateaus are formed by uplifting of earth crust or by a volcanic activity and they are formed by glacier erosion and deposition different types are or so for some examples we can say that deccan plateau tibetan plateau east african plateau etc so that is a, an introduction to the plateau now we'll see what are the different types of plateaus plateaus are categorized according to its origin how they are originated we have categorized it into seven parts or classifications are there seven in number tectonic plateau in the mountain plateau volcanic plateau dissected plateau continental plateau and fault block plateau and piedmont plateau these are the seven different types of plateau so once again let's see tectonic in the mountain volcanic dissected continental fault block and piedmont these are the different or these are the seven different types of plateaus now in the next coming uh, slides we'll study each one in detail what is a tectonic plateau from there we'll start tectonic plateaus are caused by the earth movement the movement of the earth you can see the tectonic plateaus here himalayan ranges are also or the uh, mountain is also formed by the tectonic action we have studied in, when we studied about the mountains like that the plateaus which is formed by the tectonic movements means that movements which happens inside the earth crust and the um, uh, moving of the tectonic plates etc and uh, such type of plateaus all, are also formed by the movement of the earth crust or the plates of earth tectonic plateaus are formed from processes that creates mountain ranges it's also the same movement that makes the mountain ranges the example of it is deccan plateau of india let's see the deccan plateau here the plateau is a large triangular plateau in india you can see that that which is given in that light brown color in that picture second picture so uh, here you can see the uh, it's a triangular shaped one it covering up to the majority of the southern part of the country it raises a 100 meter high in the north raising further to more than a kilometer high so you can see it's in a triangular shape so almost um, from the middle of india it starts and it continues till the south of india so it's a it's a, a triangular in shape and this is our deccan plateau the next one is in the mountain plateau and we can say that in a simple word that in the mountain plateaus are the plateaus which is surrounded all sides by mountain ranges you can see in the picture itself all the sides are covered by mountain ranges in between there is a flat table land and such type of plateaus are called in the mountain plateau a plateau which is covered all sides by the mountain ranges these are the highest and most extensive plateau in the world they are formed along with fold mountains 
and they are situated between two or more mountain ranges. The Tibetan plateau is considered as uh, the roof of the world and along with that it lies between Himalayas and the Kunlun mountains and uh, it is uh, kind of called as the roof of the mountain. So, this uh, Tibetan plateau is also called as uh, the Indian mountain plateau. It is an Indian mountain plateau and called as the roof of the world. Now, the next one is a volcanic plateau. The volcanic plateaus are formed when the successive sheet of lava solidifies. After the volcanic eruption, when the lava solidifies, volcanic plateaus are formed. Example, Columbia snake plateau is an example for volcanic plateau. You can see the image here. Now, the next plateau is a dissected plateau. Dissected plateau. Due to steam action, volcanic eruption of lava, corrosion of rivers and erosion of wind are dissective into steep tabular masses. This type of plateaus are called dissected plateaus. Usually, these plateaus are called happened due to like agents of gradation like that um, um, lava erosion and sorry volcanic eruption, corrosion of water, corrosion of water and uh, by rivers and erosion by wind all these resulted in the formation of dissected plateau. You can see the dissected plateaus here and um, it is formed due to uh, weathering of rocks by different agents of gradation. Next one is a continental plateau. Continental plateaus are massive table land. The continental plateaus are bordered on all sides by plains or oceans. They are forming away from the mountains. So, they are a raised area nearby a sea or a land mass. And uh, this type of um, uh, plateaus are also called as a continental continent building plateaus. It is a raised one. It is uh, that land mass is raised from a water body. Plateau of Ara Arabia and plateau of Greenland etc. Some of the examples of continental plateau. Next one is a fault block plateau. This uh, uh, plateaus are also formed like a fault block mountain. Central plateau of France is an example of it and formed when tension causes large block of earth crust to drop down relative to other blocks. So, in such a case such type of fault block plateaus are formed and they are also formed like or they are accompanied by the block mountains. Last one is a Piedmont Plateau. Piedmont Plateaus can be seen at the foothills. These are surrounded by mountain ranges on one side and uh, bounded by a plain or ocean on the opposite side. They are called residual plateaus and uh, some plateaus are Patagonian Plateau, Malva Plateau etc. And they are usually seen as a um, plateaus formed at the foot of a hill. And they are also called as a residual plateau because the people live there. It is a good place to live and uh, such play, uh, plateaus are we can do agricultural activities. It is a, um, it's a, not like any other uh, plateau. It is um, having, um, you know, we can make houses there, we can stay there, we can live there. So, it is also called as a residual plateau. Now, the next topic which we are going to deal is about the plateaus of the world. There are different, so many famous plateaus are there throughout the world. Some among them I have written here and the more are there in your textbook. You can read that and study and you have to study in such a way that um, uh, each plateau lies in which country. It can be asked as a match the following or a choose the correct answer question. African plateau in Africa, Colombian plateau in Colombia, Canadian plateau in Canada, Brazilian plateau in Brazil, Iranian plateau in Iran and Mongolian plateau in Mongolia, Deccan plateau in India, Colorado plateau in USA. These are some of the examples and uh, so many other plateaus are given in your textbook. You can see that, you can learn that. Now we will move to the next part of our chapter that is characteristics of plateaus. What are the characteristics of a plateau? The first one is the surface of a plateau is not always smooth. It is rugged and rocky. The, so, the first character of a plateau is it is not a smooth land. It is rugged and rocky. Second one is plateau is more or less stretch of a plain 
that rises sharply above the neighboring lowland it is stretched one and it is raised than the lowland plateaus are generally more than 300 meters above the sea level it is a basic thing more than that it is there so it's a basic thing it is 300 usually it is 300 meters at least 300 meters above the sea level next one is plateaus are generally rich in minerals the tibetan plateau or pamir plateau is called the roof of the world very important the tibetan plateau or pamir plateau is called the roof of the world and because of its height and its vastness now the next topic is what are the advantages of a plateau plateaus are suitable for cattle and sheep rearing some plateaus are favorable for agriculture where fertile soil and adequate rainfall is received plateaus are rich source of minerals plateau region is developed in mining and mineral based industries ancient plateaus are rich in different um, metals like gold silver copper iron ore coal and manganese so these are the most important um, thing which we have to study about the plateaus in the last class we have studied about what are valleys and in this chapter in this portion of our chapter we have studied about what are plateaus and here are some fill up questions this question some children have asked that what they have to do with this you can write the answers in your copy itself after writing i think you have finished three or four chapter question answers already we have given it in the website so you can write the Mm, fill up also along with that uh, as uh, extra questions you can write as a heading and then you can write all the fill in the blanks questions together and you can learn that so these are the eight questions it is not only from the um, part of plato's it is also from that uh, valley portion also that uh, video is already given you can check the um, <clears throat> youtube channel or i'll give the in the comment box i'll give the uh, link of that you can check that valleys and now let's see the questions question number one dash is also called a table land second question dash is also known as the roof of the world three dash plateaus are situated between two or more mountain ranges four a dash is a long narrow depression in the earth surface usually with a fairly regular downward slope five a dash valley are formed because of the formation of block mountains six the deccan plateau is situated in dash seven plateaus are generally rich in dash eight dash valley in germany is an example of example for rift valley so these are the fill up questions and the I think you understood if any doubts or anything is there you can ask now only one small topic is remaining that is planes that video will be uploaded as soon as possible along with that I'll upload one question paper of um, uh, this chapter so um, in the next week itself you can write the test of second chapter so prepare well and wait for the question paper and the next class of planes thank you